Well, I'm here at Richard Rees Kennel today and I'm meeting his derby team ahead of, of course, the 2022 Star Sports Derby. But we've got to see Jet. This is, of course, Southwood Jet, who was a favourite for the derby final at Nottingham in 2020. And he was certainly the best charge you've ever had uh, up to that point of, of winning a derby. And just didn't happen for him on the night from that dreaded trap one at Nottingham. No, no. Disaster, but never mind. He's done well to get there. So. And you enjoyed it? Oh, yeah. I enjoyed it. Kennel. Yeah, we enjoyed it. It was, good. it was a good journey. And he's retired now? He's retired, yeah. So we've got to find something to replace him. We'll talk about your derby team in a minute. There's been a lot of work going on at your kennel. Big changes for you over the last six months. Tell, uh, tell us what's been happening. Um, we moved kennel. We moved back to Rygate. Um, yeah, we totally revamped the place. Um, new paddocks. New, literally, just revamped everything. Spent a lot of money um, trying to build, bring it up to scratch. But a really nice vibe here now. You seem quite settled and very, very quiet. Dogs are dogs are settled too. Yeah, no, the dogs are dogs are fine. Um, they seem to like it. Everyone seems to like it. Yeah, no, it's been good. And going good into choice. this year's derby, you've got a nice team. Yep, we've got nice. Uh, got a few dogs. Nice couple of dogs. Um, nice bitches as well. One, one in particular. So yeah, looking forward to it. And do you get excited this time of year like the rest of us? Uh, yeah, but it's still a lot, little way to go. So don't want to get too excited just yet. Okay, I might. Like yeah. <laughs> we'll find out more about Richard's team, stay with us, and uh, yeah, five for him going in this year's derby. We're joined now by potentially one of the best contenders, or the best contender for this year's Star Sports derby. This is Fern Church Mick from the Reese Kennel. And uh, to say he's in the form of his life would be a bit of an understatement, wouldn't it? Obviously, he's, he's won the last five, including the Winter Derby, and a winner toaster as well. He's flying for you. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's come away, Johnny, which is good. What's the difference? I don't know, just a bit of age on his side, I, I honestly don't know. He just didn't follow the right time. And obviously went through the Winter Derby unbeaten, he was so good in that, and, and you said that you always wanted to get him to a final, because then he could show what he could do. Yeah, no, the, the, the aim was always to get him to a final, because he's the sort of dog that, if he did lead, it would take a good one to beat him. Um, but, thankfully, he started showing the early, and the consistent early, which, uh, which, is, which is all the difference to him. You ran him in a trial stakes actually for the Blue Ribbon at Toaster, but you chose the, win the Winter Derby route at Monmore. Why was that? Um, I just think Monmore's his, his favourite track, um, and no, we just thought we'd go there. That was because the, that's, that's, that's the track he's. I think he liked best of all. But he's won at Toaster suit. Oh, How does Toaster suit him? No, Toaster suits him fine as well. He's twenty nine sixty dog round Toaster, so he's no slouch. But yeah, no, he's, he's doing well for us. It's a bit tricky in a way for you as a trainer because he's on such a roll, but to keep this kind of form until the end of June will be difficult. So what do you do? <laughs> well, just hopefully, just tick him over, keep him going. Um, don't want to rest him too much because uh, a dog when a dog's running well and they're on form, best to keep them going. Sometimes or once they've had a rest, they can take a while to come back. If they come back, it's good. And yeah, it, it, it's a tricky one. It's difficult, but just to keep it on. He's had 11 races so far this year. Does he like his racing and his work? Yeah, he likes his racing. He likes his work. He's, he's, a, he's a perfect dog to have. He's a perfect dog to have. And early pace racer. So in theory, Toaster could really suit him. Yeah, theory. Yeah, no, he should do. He, do, he should do, and he will do. Hopefully. How does he compare to a Southwood Jet? Um. It's hard to say. Um, South of Jet, it, it was not a different track. Um, but no, he's he's up there with them. He's up there with the best. Is he your best chance for a Derby winner this I year? I think he's one of them. He, he, yeah, definitely. Yeah, be, be a full run to say. But yeah, he's, he's definitely got a great chance. And 50 to 1 at the moment with Star Sports. Yeah, good price. Yeah. But like I say, little way to go yet. Yeah. A little way to go, yeah. But he's in the form of his life, as I said. Burn Church Mick is, uh, yeah, heading to Star Sports Derby with every chance. Another contender for this year's derby is Highlight Arkle, a super speedy dog, and he's proven that on many occasions. Uh, not had many races for you though, Charlie, only 14 races under his belt. He's had his share of problems. Yeah, he's had a couple of injuries. Um, you know, we gave him a trial after the Kent derby where he comes seconds um, for the Olympic at home, and he just had a, he had a problem after that, so you know we've left him off over the colder months, which is what we've done last year before the derby, um, and he looks like he's coming back the same if not better so yeah really pleased yeah you're just bringing him back now he's just had a sprint trial at home 1620 pleased with that yeah over the moon to be fair i didn't think he'd go quite as well as that i mean crossfield dusty done 16 11 and i think we we're a length and a half off of him and he's been off three months so 
yeah, it's looking good so far, but he's a big dog and he takes a bit of time to come back, as we know, so yeah, we'll just tip him over. Well, I was going to say that, considering he's only just coming back, his muscle definition and how he looks is amazing. Yeah, I mean, he keeps himself looking well, to be fair, um, which is always a bonus. Um, yeah, he, you know, he just does everything right in the kennel, on the track, so yeah, fingers crossed. He's actually not raced since he was running up in the Kent Derby, which was last October. When do you think we'll see him back on the track again? Uh, not too long, hopefully. Um, we'll probably give him another sprint and then maybe get a few four bend trials into him, give him a race, and then probably go for a few trial stakes similar to what we've done last year. Um, you know, he has to have a few races before he goes in the derby. Just, you know, from what we know about him, he takes a few races to come back to, to full speed. So yeah, that's probably what we'll do. And again, before last year's derby, he was flying again to see the likes of New In Session in a, a derby trial stakes, but unfortunately got injured in the third round after he won first and second round. You must've been gutted. Yeah, I mean, it was a bad night, but look, the main thing is the injury. You know, it wasn't bad enough to keep him off the track that long. We got him back and, you know, this one's the same. Um, as long as he comes back the same dog, then I'm sure we'll be right. He's a January 2019 out of uh, Good News and Fifty Shades Nifty. Is at a great sort of age. Yeah, definitely. Derby. You know, this is the year you'd like to think mm. he'd be at his strongest. He's a dog that, you know, we think will get better with age. He's mature and I think, you know, where we first got him, he had blinds and early, wasn't quite getting home in trials, but now I think where he's matured, he's finding more coming home. And, you know, in a race, he's a different dog. Put him in a trial, he won't do the best time in the world, but put him in a race and he's a complete different dog. Obviously, we've heard from your dad about Burn Church Mick, but do you think he's your best chance of a winner? Yeah, I do. Personally, I do. I think he's... Listen, obviously, I can't take anything away from Mick, what he done in the winter derby, but I think Arkle's just... Yeah, yeah I think he's a bit special, so... Mm -hmm. Well, looking forward to seeing him back to uh, full racing fitness because uh, he's going very well and uh, yeah, it'd be good to see him perform at his best, wouldn't it? Yeah, he'd be very good. And hopefully stay sound, that's the key. Another dog going for this year's derby is Amazing Seb, who uh, is here, beautiful uh, blue brindle dog and nicely bred out of Droopy's Jet. It was you that saw this one in Ireland and, and wanted to get him in the kennel then? Yeah, I think, to be fair, I think I drove everyone mad trying to get him in um, from his first race at Plum Mill. Um, I wanted the dog. Um, things happened. I think he had a few more races in Ireland. It was a bit of back and forth. I think, uh, yeah, I sent a lot of messages to the owner of him now, the owner of him then, um, and to my dad about getting him in. Uh, luckily, eventually we got him in, and yeah, he's going really well. And what was it about him? Because he was racing sort of A1 at, at Shelbourne Park. He's, he's quite a strong runner. He's not got the best yeah. early pace. So what was it about him? It, just the way he was going to the pickup, the dogs he was passing, the way he was passing them. He was still green. Even in the race he won at Plumel, he got, he got real bad bad um badly bulked at the first bend but he, the, the determination he shows to, to go around these dogs and come home strong i just there was just something about him and the breeding as well um so yeah really happy we got him and he's been to a few tracks for you he's a uh, february 20 so he's only just over two you've taken him to home one more toaster and he, he won at toaster as well i think clock 29 72 yeah good run for a youngster yeah definitely i mean he lacks a little bit of early which to be fair at toaster we found a bit of early going to the corner and we thought you know, maybe he's maybe he's changing his running style, but you know, I think long term he's going to be a, a six bend dog. I think he could be top class over six bends, but I also think he could still be top class over four bends. So it's a tricky one. You definitely want to give him a go at the Derby because I think he's the type of dog that can qualify. Um, and if he gets a clear run in the Derby, then I think he can go a fair way. What's his ideal trap? Because he's been in pretty much all of them. Yeah, I mean, we've tried him. He looked like a railer in Ireland, so we started him off on the rails. He was just moving off a little bit. Out the middle, he seems to find a bit more trouble. I wouldn't say he's a, a wide, wide runner, but he keeps himself out of the trouble when he's in five or six, and he stays out wide and he passes wide as well. So, you know, I think five or six is his ideal box, especially around Toaster. I can tell you love this dog, and look at his eyes for you. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, he's wow. Lovely. You're a big fan. He's your favourite dog in the kennel. Yeah, at the moment, he's definitely my favourite. Um, yeah, there's just something about him. So, yeah. Look at the love. So <laughs> nice. <laughs> Amazed me, Seb. We'll uh, hopefully head to Toaster for the Star Sports Derby. Next contender is Amaze Me More, who joins us now. And uh, breeding of this one is Azza 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 by a bitch called Ravina and uh, a June 2019 dog. We were just saying that Azza 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 stud dog is an interesting one, yeah. but you, you like this dog? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think we know what we've got just yet. Mm. He's had all sorts of problems since coming in. I think he's only had two or three races for us, but what he's shown so far, knowing that he's not 100%, I think, I think he'll be all right. In Ireland, I was looking up his form. He raced with the best of the best. Skywalker Barry, Beach Avenue, I think uh, Ballymac Beanie as well. 
Top class. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think he only won one race in Ireland at Limerick, but at Shelbourne he was, like you say, only running with the best dogs. He always seemed to maybe find one too many, um, but was never really disgraced by any of them. Showed, showed good pace, so, you know, I think he's still a little bit green as well, so I think you know, get the, get the summer into him, get a bit of sun on his back, you know, he still needs a shine in his coat. Yeah. Um, if we can just get him consistently running, I think we'll be all right. Uh, I hope he had three races for you, but one of those was a win at Toaster, 29.71. Is there more to come on that than you think? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, even when he won that race, we weren't 100% sure going into the race what he would do. Um, because like we say, he's just been, you know, one step forward, three steps back with him a lot of the time. So. I think there's bundles in him. He done a decent enough sprint the other day at Hove, 16.40, um, which I know he's still capable of more, but for us, it's just a case of keeping him running and then, yeah, I think we'll be good. Is it fair to say he's a genuine wide runner? Yeah, definitely. I think which will help him. I mean, he's got a nice bit of early going to the corner, um, which he seems to have found, because we thought he was going to be a more strong running dog from his Irish races, um, but now he seems to have found a little bit of early going to the bend, which will definitely help him um, and trap six you know if he can get trap six toaster I think it'd be all right there'll be some bigger prices flying around for some of these dogs and you know we've got one here as an example that you back at anti post you take a chance yeah. but could be anything yeah I think you know he's definitely one worth taking a chance of I don't know fully what we've got yet out of him um, I know he's got a lot of form but you know he's got to a derby plate final in Ireland so you can't write off the fact that he can get to a final and you know, it was a good competition he was in, so I really think as long as he can come on a bit more, I think he'd be good. Yeah, and uh, appropriately named Amaze Me More might well keep on amazing uh, those of us following the Derby at Toaster. Well, we've got a bitch now that's going to go for the Derby. What's up? Eva is here with uh, Richard, and uh, well, Charlie said she's an aeroplane. Yeah, no, she's, uh, she's definitely got some early, and she's got a bit of speed. <laughs> Sorry. She's a cute little thing. She actually started life in A4 for you, but obviously in the wrong grade because she won four on the bounce, A4, yeah. A3, A2, A1, uh, and never looked back. She's a fully fledged open racer. No, she's, she's done us proud. Um, yeah, she's, she's been the time since she's won a toaster. Uh, she's won her last couple at Hove. Um, yeah, no, brilliant. She has won her last two at Hove. She's in form, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She's in top, uh, top form. <laughs> and full of beans. Yeah, and full of it, as you can see. <laughs> um, she also seems to like toasters. She won there at the end of January. I think 29.70, 29.83 she clocked. Yeah, yeah, no, she um, out got, which is okay. She's got a great, great early place. <laughs> God, <laughs> She's so different to the oh, other no. dogs we've had out here. Uh, why, what makes her a derby dog in your eyes? Well, no, she's just, it's just a, a bit of pace. Her. She's got nice early and she's got a good bit of middle. Um, yeah, she's just a bitch in form. She's a bit of a nutter. A bit of a but she's lovely. Early and a nice bit of middle pace. Um, like I say, she's a bitch. Bitches don't often do very well in the derby, but they're nice. Your dogs are very happy here, aren't they? Yeah, no, they are. And uh, the family's happy, obviously, we've heard from Charlie today. It's uh, a really nice little team you've got here. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to come from home. Looking forward to the derby? Oh, yeah, definitely. Me too. Can't wait. There we go. That's uh, Richard Reese's team of five that are heading to Toaster for this year's Star Sports Derby.